Hi, it's LMG and you are locked into Unity Radio 92.8 FM and I am buzzing to be joined by someone who's instantly recognisable and timeless voice takes me back to some very, very sp- special moments in my life and especially on the dance floor. It is the one and only KTB. How Aww. are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm good. I'm honestly so excited. When Dean uh, got in touch about this, I was just, no one else can have this. Like, I need this. Uh, <laughs> oh my God. Thank you so much. Thank you. No, it was, uh, <laughs> no, thank you so much for joining me. I could ask you so many questions, but I'm going to literally <laughs> keep it to the script because I've got away with letting my excitement get away with me. And it's Friday and it's just loads <laughs> of exciting things going on. So we'll get stuck into it. But so, so excited to hear your voice back on the airwaves and on the dance floor again. What was the inspiration behind Paradise, your latest joint release with Kings of the Rollers? Well, um, basically, they gave me the track and it was already called, like the track was called, the instrumental was called Into Paradise, which was really helpful for me because it kind of gave me like a kind of starting point to really like grow, you know, just kind of picture a place in my mind and like um, some inspiration for writing the song. And yeah, I just thought I wanted to kind of write it, yeah, about like raving or like being at a festival and just that feeling of when, you know, like your day-to-day life where you just have so much on your brain and, you know, like even when you go to bed at night and it's just all these thoughts are racing that, you know, that lyric being like, oh, I need some time outside of my mind or even just like my my life, like I need some time, just like a break, a holiday. And I think that's what paradise is, you know, just kind of like I pictured me and my friends just like running around Glastonbury, like you know and just but knowing that like that feeling you know in this world where we are gods forever lost like being like you know this feeling won't last it can't last yeah. forever you can't be in Glastonbury 365 <laughs> days a year unfortunately even though definitely don't have the bank balance for that <laughs> yeah exactly and also probably the brain cells as well don't you yeah. like <laughs> not many brain cells left anyway so it like, oh, no, for no, me no. Like, <laughs> And that's so cool um, that you said, because I was going to ask you, like, um, where, like, paradise can mean so many different things to different people. And for me, it's definitely the dance floor. And I think that definitely came across in the track. Like, that is, that is, like, the epitome of it. And is that what paradise means to you? Well, it's funny you should say that, because, like, I recorded an acoustic version of it the other day, and... I was like, wow, this would slap as a funeral song. <laughs> like I was literally just like into paradise because it was just like started. But then I started getting really overwhelmed and I started crying because it was oh. just like, it just like literally all the lyrics were just like, um, like I can't, oh, I need it's some deep, time outside deep, of my mind. Yeah. Take me there tonight. Um, I just need some peace, some sense of release. And it reminded me of someone who was like in a lot of pain and like mm. going into paradise and going, take me there tonight into paradise. And it just made me think about like family members that I've lost mm. who, who have like gone through like, you know, just had 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 illness or whatever. Mm. And it was just like, so it was just so interesting hearing it like from another perspective and yeah it was just a really special moment the the pianist who I was um, recording it with was kind of sharing stories about his losses and stuff and it was just yeah we were just there just having a really really lovely moment and it's like um, yeah it's just interesting how it can just be it's a nice song because it can be like interpreted in many different ways basically definitely definitely yeah Yeah, what is what's what's paradise for you I mean paradise is like you know being on a beach with a cocktail oh it is any dance floor for me (laughs) any dance floor just just that being being in the crowd and just like you're looking around at strangers and you just know that you're all you're in it together and you just got that feeling you just you're just a team and it's you just like yeah we're gonna team, yeah. make we're it in through. This, yeah we're gonna yeah exactly we're troopers we're gonna we're in this together yeah definitely, definitely. definitely. that feeling of connection definitely yes. yeah because yeah. in your everyday life you can feel disconnected so like yeah mm. it's good yeah no it definitely it definitely came about it definitely came across massively that and how did then um, your collaboration with kings of the rollers um come about well, we've got the same management and um, we kind of use the same studio and um, I heard this track and my manager was like, oh, do you like this? So I was like, definitely, like, I need to try something on this. It just made me feel really, like, emotional and 
like euphoric and it was so uplifting and um yeah I just think it was like I was waiting for it yeah it's definitely a song like this so I'm excited to kind of sing it uh, yeah over the summer definitely yes and talking of the summer I can't wait to hear it as I said in the clubs but festivals in particular and speaking of festivals we're buzzing absolutely buzzing to see you performing at the Flashback Festival in Manchester and it's coming up soon how are you feeling about it? I'm so excited and very thankful to be playing Flashback Festival. I feel like it's my first, like, I'm head, I'm head, my head name's at the top of the bill. I can't believe yeah, it. Yeah. So, you know, I'm not going to take that lightly. I'm going to give everyone, like, the best show. And, um, yeah, I can't wait to get my show together. And I'm definitely going to be skanking some art for Georgia and <laughs> long to fat around scoop as well. <laughs> and it'll be great it. to be in Manchester as well because, like, the crowds are always... This the best in Manchester. Yes. Um, Big up the 0161. We've got on yeah. <laughs> put that one in there. Yeah. <laughs> so, sure yeah. Listeners will be buzzing to hear that 1000%. And what can people expect from a KEB performance, especially like at flashback? Um, just, I always kind of like try, I, I'm starting to think about my set as well, for, you know, what, I'm, what songs I'm going to put in. And I always like to kind of keep the energy up. Mm. um but you know I like to have moments where it's kind of like I don't know I think we'll, I'll be doing like crying for no reason and all of those songs as well so yeah just take you on a little journey really you know but I've been in the gym I've been you know jumping around trying to get my fitness up so yeah the energy is <laughs> going to be strong hopefully and um yeah I'm just going to give it 100% and yeah I can't wicked wait. wicked I mean I wasn't blessed with a beautiful voice like yours so Credit to you, I find it difficult jumping around just on the regular, let alone singing as well, <laughs> and making it sound good. That is a talent. That is an, an underestimated talent, 1,000%. <laughs> oh, I mean, yeah, I mean, I'll, yeah, I'll definitely get out of breath sometimes. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> I, let audience, I let the audience sing on those bits. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, now I know, now I know, I'll clock that. <laughs> and what is your favourite thing about performing live? my favorite thing I think it's just like the adrenaline mm. seeing people enjoy your music it's you know you you write stuff in the studio and just to see it kind of come to life and um yeah people just having a having a lovely time because of something that you've written and you've created and you know as you said just like bringing people together you know sometimes it's like you're like literally what do I do for a living is just like jump around and like yeah. whatever but like it's still you know in those moments you're like oh it, it yeah you, it makes it worthwhile and you're just yeah that you're bringing like joy to people I suppose yeah yes one thousand percent I totally agree and so my show at Unity Radio is all about celebrating rave culture and um, and I wanted to ask you as someone, you know, who's pivotal in the scene and everything, why do you think dance music and raving is important to culture? There's no, like, easy answer with this one. It's different for everyone, too. Because I feel like when people rave and they dance and they come together, you know, people go to, they want to hear the music that they want to hear. And it brings like-minded people together, which mm. creates, you know, it, it, it creates, you know, a, as you said, like a scene or a, a particular sound and those sounds, you know, evolve and, you know, people bring all their different influences in and, you know, create something extremely, extremely special. And it's just always evolving and always changing. And, you know, it's, you know a lot of places like this they're on un they're underground and are allowed to flourish you know without mm. you know loads of eyes on it and stuff like that and um it's just like a comfy cozy place to be creative basically as well as dance I don't know if that made any sense actually no it did it did and I, I particularly like you word um comfy as well because that's I think it's really funny when some people can get really intimidated by a dance floor or like a rave or something. And I, I appreciate it, but I literally, and, and so interesting though, whenever I listen to like Perfect Stranger and it's like when I stepped into the crowd and I think like when you get that feeling and you're navigating your way through and it's just, ah, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm here and you yeah. just feel comfortable. Oh, thank you. That makes me really happy that you feel that. Um, 
you know it's yeah it does you're just like oh, it's like you can relax like yes. you know you're just like oh, I can relax this is this is this is <laughs> this is yeah like when I like literally walk into a club I'm like oh like it's so funny because it's a must be as you said like really noisy and disjointed for other people but for yeah. us it's like no I'm home I can relax yeah home. yeah I'm like oh this is where I've, I've been I've been longing for this for so <laughs> yeah. so long sounds like we need to go raving Katie baby. I know we do yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh well I know like you're super super busy I've only got three minutes left um of asking you I'm asking you questions but one last question where can people expect to find you like over summer and how can they keep in touch with what you're up to so um if I'm most active on my Instagram I got locked out of my Twitter the other day I don't know what oh. the hell happened there so we managed we've I've been emailing them for like the past week so so yeah Instagram is probably where I'm most active so I'm going to be posting lots of stuff on there but also actually my Spotify if you follow me on my Spotify that's all my gigs for the summer are, are on there that's the place where I actually I go and check where I'm playing um, okay (laughs) (laughs) um yeah so follow me on there and I think all the information's on there and Instagram as well yeah I'm gonna actually after like post a lot of my gigs I think this week because um yeah I get I know what you mean I don't even know where I'm playing at the moment (laughs) (laughs) your online diary (laughs) yeah thank you so much for joining me have an amazing summer and can't wait to see you at flashback Oh, it's been a pleasure. Thank you so much. Thanks so much. Bye. See you. Bye.